Well, what I want to do is talk to you for a bit about the personal challenge assignment. In my opinion, it's the most important assignment of the entire uh, semester. In fact, you're going to forget most of what you learn in this course. That's inevitable. But you're going to remember everything about this assignment, I guarantee you. You may not understand the connection between this assignment and the course immediately, but believe me, you will. The idea, the basic idea, is to tap into the warrior that we all have uh, inside of us. Some of us, the warrior is active, some of us, the warrior is still asleep, but there's a warrior inside all of us. Now, a simple definition of what a warrior is does is a warrior takes aggressive, disciplined action in the service of something larger than himself or herself. And this, this cause, this something larger than yourself, if you're in the armed forces, then that thing larger than yourself is your country. But it, it could also be something having to do with social justice. It could also be something that is personal, and that's what we're going to be doing in, the, in this semester. Because something larger than yourself is your better self. Something larger than the person you are now is the person that you can be, and that you have it in, your, in, your, uh, uh, in yourself to, uh, to become. Now, what I would like for you to notice, and by the way, my daughter is doing the, uh, the camera work on this, so... That's Chloe. Say hi, Chloe. Hi. <laughs> okay. Anyway, uh, you might notice that uh, Professor Grimm's is a little bit on the hefty side, right? <laughs> that's, uh, that's part of the point. What you want to do is you want to pick a, a challenge that is a, a real challenge for you, something that you can, something that you can meet, something that's not, po that's not impossible to reach, but something that is really going to push you in a constructive direction. For me, it is that perennial nemesis uh, weight, diet and exercise. And that's what diet in the sense of uh, set diet or anything like that. I mean, what I mean is sensible eating. Uh, and then regular, a regular course of uh, exercise. There's a PowerPoint presentation in which you will see uh, how my weight goes back and forth um, according to the degree to which I focus on healthy diet and consistent exercise. And so one challenge for me is to be consistent about it. And at this point, you know, I'm on the wrong side of the, uh, of the pendulum. But my, uh, my challenge or my assignment is going to be, I'm going to do it right along with you, and mine is going to be um, to, uh, to eat healthy and to exercise uh, regularly. And the details I'm going to write down in, a, in the same um, paper assignment that you're going to be required uh, to do. So there is that. Let me tell you, let me show you my exercise area. The thing of it is, I mean, it's, it is a well-appointed exercise area. It's got everything you need. And so the wonder is, it's in my own basement. I'm just right upstairs. And so the question is, well, why am I, why am I not using this thing every single day? Because I'm not. You know, there are weeks that go by and I'm not using this thing. Okay. I'm even coming down and getting the books. This thing doubles as part of my very extensive professorial library, but I'm going right past mm -hmm. this. But let me show you all the things that I've, <laughs> I've got that I can potentially be using, okay? Let me pan over here a little bit. First of all, there's this elliptical machine. It's not as good as the one in uh, Cardio Canyon at RPEG. Just keep it on me, okay? And, uh, but it's, it's, it's serviceable. It'll get the job done, okay? So I've got that. I've always got the weight bench. I've got a lot of free weights back here. I uh, put up here so you can see some of them see it, 30 pounds, okay? I can actually lift them correctly at least once, okay? So there's that. Medicine ball for core work, okay? 10 pounds, but you'd be amazed at how much, uh, how, how much of a workout you can get lying on a mat and this thing back and forth. Uh, I, my wrists are giving me trouble, have been doing that for years, but that's not to worry. I've got these things that allow me to put my wrist down at an angle rather than straight down. So I'm all set up for that. My, uh, my daughter Chloe wanted me to see, you to see that I also have boxing gloves, okay? And I actually use them sometimes because you, you know, you jab back and forth and that's fairly aerobic, okay? 
Uh, and uh, so anyway, she asked me the red and you got it. Okay, so I have those things and I have several DVDs to help me out. Here is one, Keeping Fit in Your 50s. That should have sailed. I'll be turning 62 in, uh, in October. But this is still very helpful because when, as you get older, you need to stretch more. And it's interesting, most fitness DVDs seem to be for women. And I've asked people about that, and they say that's because women tend to be uh, more image conscious than, uh, than men are. But, you know, you can learn. You can be a man, and you can learn from uh, DVDs that were produced for women. The information is, is just as good. You've got to put up with things like saying, oh, that stress is delicious, and things like that, okay? But, hey! Always smiling at me, like I'm looking kind of appalled, but I'm just saying, you know, it ain't the most manly thing, but you know, it's just for women. Right. <laughs> Camera on me, Chloe. Now, on the other hand, I've got this ripped 90 fit. Okay? And this is going to, obviously, if I did th these exercises regularly, I would turn into a he man. Okay? I have that, you know, that, that six pack and bulging biceps and pectoral muscles so, you know, till Tuesday and everything else like that. Now, um, the fact of the matter is, A, that ain't going to happen, but B, notwithstanding the fact that it's got a lot of sizzle, this is actually a very good uh, program. It's kind of on the pricey side, but it was recommended to me by an old high school cl classmate who now runs a fitness gym. And he said, you know, this is, you know if you want to get fit and so Mark, you know, invest in this thing. It's, it's really good. It's well thought out. The guy knows what he's doing and the DVD is well, very well made. He's correct about uh, that. Uh, for a little inspiration every now and again, Rocky never fails. Dun, dun, da, 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 dun, dun. Yeah, this is great stuff. Okay, so you, can, you can't go wrong with, uh, with that. And uh, before I get too far along, there's one more thing that I need for you to see. I would be wearing it if the weather if it wasn't so hot out. But this, okay, burn this into your little pea brain. <laughs> okay, is you know most of the stuff that you need to understand what's going on in the course is in the syllabus. You don't need to email me about you know, things like that. One of the things that's going on right now. Is many of you are, are getting are finding you can't access the, the, the quiz and you're puzzled and you're sending me emails. Okay. That's because you there's one thing in the syllabus that you haven't done yet. It's a basic skill is learn to navigate Karma. There's also information in there about course technology, and so if you've got trouble, there's places that you can go to get help. You know, among them is not the instructor. I can help you with some things, but I'm trying to figure out Carmen, some of the you know the, the, the finer points of Carmen my uh, myself. So, now, there are um, a number of things that are in the personal challenge assignment uh, module. And I would, there's actually two presentations, one that I did last year that I would like you to take a look at, and then another one that hits it from a different angle that um, I'm using for this year. And what I'm trying to do in all of them is to draw a strong connection between the Code of the Warrior, as you will see it in Shannon French's book of that title, then the way in which it, it the, the, the Code of the Warrior, or the Warrior Ethos, translates metaphorically into our daily lives. That's the point. Okay? Now, and for years, I've been doing this assignment since 2007, or not, actually not the person, personal challenge assignment. This is only the second year that I've I've done that. In the past, I've simply told students about the warrior ethos. But I thought, you know, it would be really valuable to give them a first-hand experience with developing the warrior within them. And so that's where that idea came from. But back when I was talking about this, and the code, drilling down the code of the warrior pretty heavily, and talking about how it translated metaphorically into everyday life, when I got the evaluations at the end of the course, there were always a few people who complained that, I thought this was a course on military history, not a course on religion or philosophy, you know, and I feel ripped off. Okay? And I was, I was irritated because they just didn't get it. And then I realized they just didn't get it because I had not done an adequate job of explaining. So that's what I've been trying to do um, in that module, the personal challenge assignment, 
That's what I tried to do with my students last year, and I succeeded. It was something, it was an assignment that I knew was either going to be a home run or it was going to fall right on its face, and it was a home run. Students who didn't quite know what the point was at the beginning understood it at the end, and they were by and large delighted with the progress they were able to make during the course of the semester on their chosen assignment. There are a number of things that you can, that you can select, but the three most common ones by far were overcoming procrastination. I think that was, that surprised me because I think that was almost the number one choice. And there are things that you can do, techniques that you can employ to overcome that tendency that all of us have to put things off. Okay? So some students realize they really struggle with that. We all struggle with that. That's, that is, that's a huge thing. And they worked on that during the course of the semester and they made real progress. Um, other people worked on weight control. And mostly that meant keeping their weight down. One or two people, they needed to, to, you know, to, to gain weight or stay where they, where they were, but most people, like me, you know, could stand to, to lose a few pounds. In this case, I mean, by, by a few, I mean like 25 pounds to get to my goal weight, my sort of ideal sustainable weight. I'm really on the heavy side um, right now, but I'll be working on this right beside you, and I, I know that I'll make progress over the 15 weeks uh, ahead of us because I made progress last year. It's the same, uh, same assignment for me. So, um, so there's that. The uh, the third one has to do with exercise, which is also something that I'll be working on as well. So with me, it'll be eating correctly and also doing a a, a balance of strength training and cardio uh, on a regular basis as uh, as well. So those are the three things that people most commonly do. And I'll have you write three papers. The first one setting out what challenge you've uh, you've, you've uh, selected for your yourself, and there'll be details in the in the personal challenge assignment uh, handout that you'll that you'll have about the details of that. Then there will be a second uh, paper that you will write about your progress. This will be about midway through the semester, and you can talk about uh, the progress that you've made. You can talk about setbacks because you're um, you are you are going to have if you really challenged yourself you will have setbacks. You'll be pushing yourself to do something that is going to push back in some measure. Okay. So then there'll be a final uh, paper that where you'll talk about you know, the, the progress that you were able to make or you know and or what you learned uh, by doing this personal challenge assignment. If you do a good job in writing these papers you'll get the entire hundred points. That's 10 percent of your grade. Now you might ask, well, Professor Grimsley, can't I just cheat or can't somebody else cheat? I mean, I'm not going to cheat, but somebody else could cheat. And I'd feel really ripped off if somebody else simply cheated their way uh, through this assignment and I did the work. Well, they will have cheated. They will have cheated themselves. Because what you can do at the outset, if you don't want to do this thing, you can opt out. I'll give you, I can't give you a passing grade on an assignment you didn't do, but I'll give you as many points as I can. Uh, about 59 points puts you at the threshold of a D, but it'll be an E. So you get 59 points and not do the assignment. That's honest. I can respect that. What I can't respect is someone who says that they will do the assignment and doesn't. And that's why when you turn in your first report and every every report, you will you will sign you will have a you will pledge to do the assignment faithfully and to the best of your ability. And if you say that you're going to do that and you don't, if you cheat, you will have cheated yourself. I'm not going to know what happened, but you will know. And you will have to live with that the rest of your life. That your students took on this assignment and learned from it and grew from it and developed the warrior within. And you proved yourself to be no warrior at all not at this time anyway, you, you always have an opportunity to find your, the warrior within you down the line. I'm not saying that it permanently defines you, but you will live with it for a long, long time. Okay, what I'm going to do at this point is I will have Chloe turn off the, uh, the video, and before she does that, just bear in mind to go through the personal challenges um, uh, assignment module, all of it, because on the next quiz, some of the questions will have to do with personal challenge assignment, particularly 
uh, the videos that I, uh, I ask you to watch. They're inspirational, and you might think, well, that's, this is not intellectual. I don't have to watch this thing. But what I want you to have is, is to achieve is an emotional understanding of, uh, of this subject as well. Okay, Chloe, you can turn it off now.